afternoon everyone it's rachel here and we are just going to work on this document journal i finished all my other ones the hardcover ones um and i'll probably do a flip through of those and i finished two of the other document journals so it's time to finish the well work on the last one finish is a very st big stretch of the imagination so um i'm just sort of going to follow along the lines of the other ones and i'll show you what i did so i have this old piece of hemp here sorry i'm hiccuping put the video on and start hiccuping and i'm going to make a pocket i think i'll keep the little birds there i don't know if you can see those um so i'm just going to put a marking here and here and trim it and then I'm going to glue the fabric on there and then I'm going to stamp it and I did the same in the other ones as well I can't remember what I've showed on video and what I haven't so please forgive me we won't get it all done we'll get a couple of pages done because it takes me time to do these so I'm going to grab my Giotto glue and use it because it glues the fabric well okay and then I'll be ready to make something else move on to the next thing I think I'll have that bit hanging oh that's the right way there so now I want that side okay I'll put it up that way decisions okay so that's going to be my pocket there and we'll just have the little birds peekabooing out from the other side but I'm also well, I might stamp it first um, take that off okay and I was gifted some stamps which I was really lucky um, or I was gifted a voucher and I purchased these um, Tim Holtz stamps and it came with this wonderful pouch to keep them in. So I'm going to use one of their... I'm going to use... Maybe I'll use one of these. I haven't used them yet. Excuse me, I'm making a noise opening the packet. I know it's really, it really is exaggerated when you hear it on camera. And I think I might do, oh gosh, I am hopeless with the music. I never know which way it goes. Isn't that terrible? I think it goes that way. And that's the direction there. So I'm going to stamp that. I might use green. I think I did on the other ones too, because I just feel like if I use green, then I can do pretty much anything on top. Sort of. Oh yes, that's good. And I just need some on this part. And I might just do it not even sort of thing. Okay, good. Done. I'm just going to grab a wet one and well, I'm going to grab a dry wet one and just wipe it off. That's fine. Whoops. I'll put it back in that afterwards. Okay. Now, my next job is I'm going to put my little um, folded strips there just so it's not such a tight pocket. Scissors. Oh, you'll have to excuse me. I'm a little bit tired today. Um, I stayed up until... Well, I had to pick up Lulu from town at quarter past 11. So I stayed up late. I'm a bit tired. And not quarter past 11, quarter, quarter past 12. So um, I didn't go to bed probably until 1, I think. So, yeah, a bit tired. 
I just had to stay up. I stayed up and um, I had to make um, some paper packs that I had run out of and um, and I packaged a few orders. I just had, otherwise I would have fallen asleep and she would have been left there. on there so that opens in theory yes and then this one here we don't lose any real estate in your pocket and it's not quite as tight Let's see there you go. and now I think I'll just run I, I bought these on Amazon I thought I'd give these a go see how they are see if the glue will come out they're so tiny, the glue hardly even come, can even get, it can hardly get through. It's a very fine little thing of glue, which is great. I always forget that I have to glue across the bottom as well. So how is everyone? Did I ask you that? I don't think so. I think I just got cracking. Oh, feeling envious. Someone's making a coffee. It's too late for me. I can't have coffee anymore today. It's, I won't sleep. I do go to sleep, but just have poor quality sleep if I have coffee after a certain hour. Oh, that's exhausting, squeezing through that little teeny tiny hole. I thought I would like them, but I don't know. The jury is out on that one. Okay, so just above the birdies. Okay, it's not finished yet. Just make sure it's all sticking. Now, I'm going to put, I think, a little bit of um, book page. So do, let me see what old book page I have flying around anywhere. Anyone, anywhere? A little scrap pouch is leaving a lot to be desired. There's not a lot in there. Well, not what I want anyway. Okay, excuse me while I move on. Oh, I never do that in my videos. That's terrible. I always feel like if someone, <laughs> not, it's not a criticism, but I feel like if someone yawns in their video, I feel like I'm boring them. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even doing anything, I'm watching. Okay, so I'm going to tear this off here. I'm going to put this beautiful 1700s book page. I'm going to take off the borders because I don't, I just want the writing really. I really just want the writing. That's why I tear that off. And it's wobbly, and I love that. That's going to be great. It can go like that. Just take that, that bit off. We'll use the Giotto glue because it's going onto fabric and this is really good for that. Okay. And then we need a focal point. Lovely. So I'm going to go to my ephemera holder. this out of the way oh, well, I might put one of these in and keep those out so I could have one of these lab I might put one of those up there so I'll do look at those come back to those afterwards um, let's see what little things we have Oh, I haven't really pulled out gems today. This uh, today, this year, I'm I'm going to be doing some more Christmas after these. I'm gonna I'm not done with Christmas. I like to do, you know, quite a bit. So um, I'm not done with it yet. I might like that. I think I like that. Just yeah, I think it's gorgeous with the stripe. I really like it. Yes, I do.
so we went on Friday. I mentioned that we were going to go to um, the festival. It's the patron saint of Santa Cangelo this weekend. Um, and we did go. We met up with our friends. And it was pouring with rain. And I said to Steffi, oh, maybe I need to wear my, my heavier coat. And he's like, oh, no, no, just wear your trench coat. It will... And, you know, I had a jumper on and everything, so I shouldn't have been so cold. But anyway, it was cold because it was raining. It got in my bones. But we did have a lovely time. We had an aperitivo. Um, and then we went and had, um, we had a walk around. And then we had, um, in the square, they have all these sort of um, food places set up. And they had, uh, they one of the typical things to eat is this, the typical flatbread here is called Piadina. It's from this region. And um, now I'm going to grab my Florentine papers. Here they are. Um, and so we had the flatbread, and you have it with sausage and not for the vegetarians. They, well, you can have it with vegetables if you're a vegetarian. But we, we had it with sausage and onion, and it's really good. I was thinking gold. Yes, I think I'll have a piece of that. I want to just cover up the bit up there, which you probably can't see, so I'll, I'll slide it down in a sec you can um, there's a bit that wasn't covered when I first did them um, so we did that and then um, had another little walk and uh, and then it was just pouring and I felt really bad for all of the stands that sell things the market sort of thing that was that's there because they had to literally just close and go home early because the weather was so unpleasant and um but we had a nice time so we got home around 10 10 30 and then Steffi couldn't find his phone he's like i can't find my phone can you ring it and i rang it and there was no sound so our friends um they actually live up the top of the old center so we rang them because we knew they were still having a walk around and we just said could you um i because we'd have find my phone on our phones i'm going to put that there yes um I said to Lulu, because it's not working in my phone for some reason, I have to get Steph to fix it because it's very useful. Um, we saw that it was where we had dinner. So we got our friend to go there and he and he picked it up. And um, so we went and picked it up. So we, again, we didn't get home. You know, we ended up going to bed much later at 12 something. And, um, and then um, in the morning, I got up and took Lulu to school. And on Saturday, and I said to Steffi, I got back at eight o'clock and I said, I'm going to walk into town. It's about a 20 minute walk, um, 20, 25 minutes um, and have a look. So um, he really does, he likes to go and we get, you can taste all the cheeses and um, olive oil and um, they have ham and you can buy pieces of ham that you can then slice off and Steffi has his special knife that he uses to slice the ham. So we went and did that at, um, we got there at about nine and it was already, there were already enough people there. And there's, oh, there's this wonderful spice stand and it has all this, um, and spice mixes and things. So we got a whole lot of that sort of stuff because we really like it. Um, and then we bought some cheese and some ham and guanciale, which is not exactly, um, bacon. It's, it's, um, but it is a, a little, it has a slight flavor of bacon. Does that make sense? It's not exactly bacon, but it has a slight flavor of bacon. So we got some, well, yeah, we bought a few products and we bought some olive oil that was really good. But this year it's more expensive than normal because it was a bad, um, I think with the really, the extreme heat that we had, um, the, there wasn't the olives, um, there weren't as many olives. So, um, but we, we bought it anyway, cause it's really good olive oil. And, you know, you buy bodgy stuff from the supermarket, so you might as well buy the good stuff from the, you know, the people that make it. Now, I'm looking, I had some, I wanted to see, I thought I pulled out some Christmassy sort of yo-yos, but I can't, I know I did for the other ones, but I thought I pulled out an extra one because I knew I had to do that, but I cannot see it. I found this, I might use some of it. Maybe I'll use this instead. This one's going to be different. I think I'll use this. I just wanted to put a little embellishment just on the edge of the page. I think I might only need, that's a bit big. I think I, I'll use this piece, I think. Yeah, and I might, do I have a thin, this a piece of thin lace. I might put a piece of thin lace, just a strip underneath. Let's see if I rip it, if I get a nice look. It won't rip. It's not a ripper. 
Okay, so I'm going to, I think, smoosh some glue. Might even have it just coming over the top there. And then I'm going to put that. Yeah, I like that. It soft, just softens it. Because that's a bit of a block and this is, you know, thinner. And it just softens it, in my opinion. That is my opinion. Might not be yours. And I was thinking, will I do a video or not? I'm feeling tired, but here I am. Um, I just can't have too many days without coming in and saying hello. Okay, I think that's really lovely. And then the next thing I want to do here is um, I want to put a flip. So let me see. I had some leftover things. What did I do with them? That I needed to work on. I wonder where I put them. I know I pulled them out the other day and I don't see them here. I had they were tags and journal cards. Here they are. Let's see if I have anything. Just bring the whole lot over. How about that? Look at this. This is what I want, these things. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, got it. Right, so I think that would be super cute. Make it a flip. Um, not that one. No, I don't want one. So I want something vertical. So I may not have too many verticals here. I might have to go to my thing. Okay, no, they're all... They are all of these tags. These are all tags. So I'm thinking I liked... Yeah, I think I like that one so far. Itchy. Oh, gosh, it's all happening. Just let me see what's happening here. Um, vertical. Oh, I've got lots of empty spaces, which you know what that means. I need to print out. No, nope, I still like the tag more. Um, let's see. Oh, this is lovely. Lovely and cheery. That could be nice there. No, not quite. Definitely cheery, but not quite what I want. Not the look. Let's see this one, that one. Oh, that's nice. Well, of course, I like everything, don't I? Because that, I put it together. Oh, and I love that one. I haven't used that one for a while. Okay. And I always love these ones. So many. Hmm. Okay, stop looking. I could pull out. I'll just keep on pulling them out. It'd be endless pulling out, pulling out. Let's audition. So I do, we know I like that. But that could also be the tag that I make to go in there. So let's put that over there. Um, take that away. Don't mind that. I actually really like that. Okay. Quite like that. Quite like that. Oh dear. This one's a bit wide, but I could trim it. I quite like that. Okay, right. Oh, and I love that. Right, let's audition. So that one or that one, I like this one with the colours I've got going on. So I've got that one or this one. And I like both. Okay. This one and this one. I like that one as well. But I think the one that really grabbed me the most was... I do like that, was this one. So let's, I, because I like them all fairly in a fairly similar way, those last ones, I think I'll just go with this one because it's the one that really grabbed me when I looked at it. So with these journals, I just, I have a few pockets already made that I need to distribute, but I, I just slowly work through the, the journal 
um, putting in all the bits and then I have a then I go through it again a second time to see what else I might need to add um, and then I consider it done when, and then I can start putting everything in the pocket so that's going to go there it's going to be a flip so what I need to do now I think I might use a I saw I had a straw paper here actually going to trim that here if I can because I will use it for multiple things actually I can glue that on there and then I'll trim it That's crooked. I'm going to straighten it up. Okay, let's put that in there. then you can see it takes a while doesn't it as I said I have a few sittings to um, with the pockets and the tucks and things I'll do a bit then I'll stop and then I'll come back because <clears throat> I think you need to have that break to sort of um, refresh and what you're seeing now I'm just wondering whether that's a bit wide but I think it should be okay Okay, cleaned my fingers. I'm going to see, do I have any washi tape that I might like to use for? No. I'm just gonna grab my Christmas ones. Now I have this wide one here. This is the one I'm gonna use first. And then on the inside, I'll use a different one. And it's very sticky, this one. See, I can hardly even pull it off. That'll be enough. You don't have to go the full length. You can just do partial. So first you need to stick it on your piece. I'm going to have more go around, wrap around the page than is on the front. Okay. And I line my page... I may just have it over a little bit just because it was a little bit wide and then let's move these over here I need to open this and I need to put some see that's all sticky I need to put some tape down there and I think I might use what other really strong ones do I have that's a strong one put that one oh I love that Put that one down there. If you were worried about it, you can um, sort of push it over your uh, glue stick just to put a bit more glue. But I think I've found so far they're okay. And if they're not, then I just put a little bit of glue on under the anything that's curling up. Okay. Just fold that like so and I think I might I might put a little tab up there so let's see and I need to find that where's that tag gone we need to make that up 
Actually, I'm not going to make it now because we're doing pockets, but I'm going to pop that in there. Just so I remember, I want to make that into a tag to go in there. And I think I'm going to cut this. Punch. And I'm really liking the look of this. Let me just trim this so it's... did that but anyway I probably didn't position it properly I just love the shape that it gives you so look at the shape that's just going to go there like so and there we go so that's my first part done need to make that but we're not doing that now Okay, oh, I will, I think I will put a staple up there, just to be sure, but it seemed, it's pretty well stuck, but let's just put one in there anyway. This also goes well with the star. And then on this side, I just put a little piece of paper or something to, um, just so you don't get caught in the staple. So let me see, Where's, I've got scraps in here. I've also got scraps in my other pouch, so... I think I might have a piece of that. So let's see what is next. Oh, I've also got my pockets here, so I need to look at those as I go along as well. Here they are. I might glue this one here yeah I like the look of all those together and I'm going to use this is the stronger glue if it comes out oh yes this one does oh good it's obviously a bit more fluid than the um, Tombow one I'm assuming these pins that that come with these these bottles don't rust. Now let's grab the dry wet one and just go around the edges. Now the only reason why I'm choosing this glue is because it dries really quickly. Okay. Oh, I did have that little, but that's not going to be big enough to make a pocket. Um, but I could glue that pocket there and, and just, um, I'll glue that down, I think. Although I've just got the pocket there, so I think I'll, I would. I think on this page, I'm going to just simply put a tab. Yeah, where's my? No, 
I normally come and do my tabs after, but I know I want to put a piece of this like I did on the other ones because I like the look of it. So, put my glue on here, Drotto glue. And if I put enough, it's no problem with the sticking. Oops. Okay, and I don't actually even, I don't think I need a stapler in there. Got that pocket there. Now on that on that paper, I can't remember. Okay, I know what I'm going to do on here on this side. Or maybe I'll do it on this side on this one. Um, I'm just going to put this here so it doesn't close. I need that glue. I don't need this glue. I'm going to grab one of my painted fabrics, which are just here. This one is the one I want. Gonna make a belly band. I think I'll use not that one, that one. These are fabrics I painted last year. I'm gonna tear it. Okay. Put that over there, and I'm just going to trim this. Okay, now I'm going to glue my fabric on there. I can see better if I do it that way. is going to glue there so I just need to run the glue down two sides Oh my goodness, I can't see. There we go. So put that there, and I'm going to fold it over. And here I'm going to put, I probably should have done it before, but I'm going to put some glue and fold that over. And then I'm going to put in a staple. Like so. Okay, and that will hold that. Good. So let's see what we have here. Okay, we have this here. Here I'm going to extend, I think. That way. I'm going to make this a pocket.
We may have done this already together with the first one. I think we did. So that's going to glue on there. It's almost the perfect height. So let me work this out. I'm going to put my punch here. I'm just going to eyeball where the center is. I don't know. may glue that straight to me. Let's see. Oh, it didn't even stick. Okay. And then this I'm going to Here I'm going to glue another piece of paper. So let me just find one. Oh, I have this. Oh, this is this might be good. I might put that over. No, not that one. Just rifling through, rifling through the papers to see what I might like to include. might like a piece of this one. Right, and I'm going to glue that there and then we'll fold it so it fits in. Okay, so glue this down first. I didn't close that but um, there because I'm going to glue down another piece of paper and that will then close it. What I'll do with this one? Put all my glue in the middle like we did the other day and then use the combo glue around the edge.
when that dries I will um, fold it and there we've got a tuck but it also pulls out and you can write on it so we'll just wait for that to dry a minute and um, and then we'll fold it in now I haven't put any of my pockets have I let's have a look at those on this one no I'm not going to put book page with book page so not those oh one of these how cute is that I think I'm going to glue that there I like the look of that and I'll glue it on the two sides and that way it's a side tuck as well I'd already forgotten about these. Just goes to show why you need an ideas book, which I do never update, so I'm hopeless, and all the ideas that have been forgotten is probably astounding. So you don't cover up the whole lovely book page, but you do make it useful because then you put things in and you've got a nice you're gonna have a nice long narrow tag in there. going to put a piece of paper oh we don't need to it's not it's not weak let's see no no oh, I like that there should I put that there or that like so I think I like that and I'll put something down there just a little top tuck whoops I'm going to put a little tab there with and make it with this little piece here Oh, let's do some corner punching. these corners I'm just going to slip okay okay on this page I am going to put some lace we haven't done that yet so let me just grab where is my lace I know which one I want to use I used it on all of them and I really liked it so I've just got to find where I put it We're nearly halfway, I think. And I might come back then afterwards and um, maybe not today, but um, tomorrow or something when I revisit is I will come back, I could come back and, um, can't get my words out, 
add another thing, tuck or something here and there if I feel like it needs it. Just trying to make sure I put plenty of glue. Just eyeballing about where I need to go to. And I may need to add a bit more. I'm just gonna put that oops down there and then I will I think I need a bit more glue here. And make sure there's plenty of glue. These are the two pressure points. You could then come back and put a staple in there as well. Or you can stitch it on your machine. I'm just not doing that at the moment, as you know. I haven't been wanting to use my machine. Now then I'll just grab a dry wet one and pat it so that I know that it's all stuck. Okay. Make sure I'm not sticking my two pages together. No, that's good. Okay. Oh, okay, now this is my center, and in my center, I'm making this into a big, long tuck, side tuck. Let's just put that there and grab this. Hopefully I'm not off screen guys, I'm sorry. It's a big journal, like they're tall journals, so it's hard for, I can't, I sort of struggle to raise the arm a bit any higher. Just make sure that's all stuck. And then you just need to grab your glue. You could actually run glue down the center as well and have two side tucks if you wanted to. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna do that on this one. Put my glue down here. And that's gonna be, there's gonna be two side, because this is very tall, so I think you can get away with, I put my glue too far on that side. I glued on the wrong side. You've got to glue on the short side, not the long side. Silly me. Can't see if I got glue there. So what I need to do then is grab this and just wipe off the excess so I don't stick things. And afterwards when it's dry I'll come in and I will I will do my two notches there so you'll be able to see that it's a um, double pocket. Okay. Right, now let's see what else. So we're in the center now. I think on this one I might put, oh, I've got this one as well. This one was to be glued like so. Now, the one thing I thought about um, with the top tuck, to lift it up, if you've got anything that's too much taller than this, you need to lift this and then lift that up and then put it down. Does that make sense? Because otherwise, if you've got it, something up there, you won't be able to lift it because it'll be crashing into there. But if you open up here and lift and put down, then it will. Or otherwise, just put something that's almost flush with this here and then you won't you can still lift it up because I, I, I know that from experience so um i'm not sure i don't think i want to put that one there it's going to go on another page i think i may put this one over here now there's still more to be done i think we'll put in that other pocket there I thought I had another one. I thought I had another long pocket. 
can't see it. I must have used it. So that's going to go there. It doesn't put too much pressure to on that page, which is good because it is an old ledger. And I'm going to flip over a bit. I think I may put something like this. I'll put it on this page. Let's see what else. I'm skipping pages because then I also um, I, I'm going to do some other things. Okay, so I think I will put that there or will I put it on the straw paper? Now, it makes this page a bit more useful because it's got a pocket and a flip. So, yeah, I'm going to put it there. And, okay, we have the page. It's broken there. So what I do there is I repair it. So we'll grab a piece of paper. You won't be able to see it so much. You will see it on this side but not the other side. So um, bear that in mind. And I have... I just found I have these so on this side I'm just going to tear it a little bit because when you flip up you'll be able to see oh I only tore it on one edge doesn't matter so that's going to go there and I'm going to lift it Hopefully, might not be big enough. I was hopefully going to fold it to cover the glue. Yes, I did just there. Okay, so I've covered the glue and I've repaired the corner and it's crooked. Like that. There we go. Good, that's better. And now I can attach this. So if I go here, yep. Okay. Just make sure this sticks, just go over it a few times. And then here, this lifts up, but what I wanna do is, I'm just gonna open it up. Oh, I didn't get the glue in the right spot. Doesn't matter. I'm going to put some washi tape there anyway. I'll use this one. It's a bit wider. Okay, and I may come back and add some tabs to that. And I don't think I have any more pockets here. I thought I did. Where did all the side? Oh, there they are. I do have more. You see, I thought I did. So let's get those in. I'm going to put um, belly band thing there. I think over here on this one, I might put a side tuck. Yes, I like those colours. And let's just, I'm just going to put a little bit of something there just to hold that closed. Um, I had a piece of glue paper here. Oh, what about this? Just this little strip. I'm just going to glue that there to make sure that stays put. Little repair. And grab the glue again. Oh, 
Oh, it's nice to spend Sunday afternoon with you guys. Oh. Where did I put my wet in there? Oh, God, that glue is terrible when it gets stuck on your fingers. Okay. Back in action. That's why I like to use this that way. I avoid getting as much on my fingers. See, look, I already still have it there. I've got to go and wash them. Sometimes, yeah, I just turn the page over and mush the glue a bit from the other side as well. And then we still have two more. So I need to do a bit of work on that pocket, that page there to put something on it. I could have, oh, that's cute there. I'll put that there. Or do I prefer that one? I think I prefer that one. We'll put this one somewhere else. Oh, take the pin out. I'm very excited that that glue works in there because it was very oozy in my other bottles. Like I could, had trouble controlling how much came out. Whereas with this one, it's flowing nicely, whereas the other one doesn't flow so nicely. But that one does, so that's good. Okay, and we've got to find a little spot for that. And then on the back here, we're going to put a lace. And I might put a pocket there, but um, I'm going to put a lace there. So we'll do that next time. So let's go back to the beginning. Make sure things aren't stuck together too. So that I, we did a lot of work today. I've got a few more little tabs. I put a few here and there, not too many, because I don't want to do it all. Um, I could have a little... That's a nice fragile page. I think I might have that little one there. Grab this glue. And I like to make these, sometimes I glue them right down, but because it's a tall journal, I feel like I like them to be uh, a side tuck so that um, more, you know, you can tuck something behind, some more writing paper or whatever you like. Give that a plane. Okay, and that's going to glue there. Good. So this here is now drying. So first of all, I want to punch. I do this punch. I think you can't see. I know that because I'm. It's right near me, off the table. But you will see up here. Okay, and then, it's sort of dry, I'm going to fold that there like so, maybe a bit more, hopefully it's straight, it's not quite dry, see it gets creases, oh yeah, I love that, and then what I do is also punch these edges, and I'll add afterwards to, I think I'm going to put something here just to hold it, because this one, um, there's a bit of space there, so I can do that. And that's what it looks like. I really like that. Yep, just, I just folded it correctly. And then we've got the side tuck here. So that's good. Now, that one is a side tuck. And then obviously got the pocket. Got the top tuck here. Tab. Lace pocket. This is, oh, let's go and do this. It should be dry enough. I can't really tell very well where that, which is going to be exactly my center, so it won't be exact. And I won't punch them exactly the same amount either because I can't tell. I could turn it around, but I, I'm not going to. I'm just going to guess. Oh, look. Oh, I need to do a bit further, I think, if I can. 
He's saying don't do it. Better, a bit better. Okay, I think the thing went inside. So that's a that's glued down there, and then you've got two smaller tucks, which actually I think is quite fun. And what else do we have? We've got this, but I will come back and probably do some more. Yeah, these some um, these this page needs something. I'll do that after. This is what I mean. I'm getting tired now, so I need to sort of have a break. There, it's a pocket, and then here we've got side tuck. So we've just really put down the things that I've already pre-made. And then here we've got a side tuck and there you go. So that's where I'm at with this journal. Um, the other ones are, are pretty much done. So um, I will do a flip through um, before they go out to their owners. And there will be, um, there might be a couple available. I just have to see. I've got to go through my list. So I hope everyone has a lovely Sunday. Oh, there's the pocket. Okay, I need to put that in somewhere as well. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful Sunday. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.